When working on a steam boiler, you'll see a curly pipe connecting the steam pressure controls or pressure gauge to the boiler. It looks like a roller coaster ride for the steam. What is that thing? Welcome to Boiler Room Detective. I'm your host, Ray Wolfhart. That curly pipe is called a siphon or pigtail. According to Honeywell, the pigtail's job is to prevent scale and corrosive vapors from attacking the elbows and diaphragm. It sounds ominous. This raises the question of what corrosive vapors are inside a steam system. Honeywell is probably referring to carbon dioxide, one of the byproducts of steam. Carbon dioxide forms carbonic acid when it meets water and immediately starts attacking metal surfaces. The pigtail also reduces the potential that could occur because of rapid pressure changes. Further, they allow lower temperature pressure controls in a high temperature application. For example, the Honeywell L404 pressure control has a maximum ambient temperature of 66 degrees Celsius or 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And steam is much hotter than that. Steam at 2 psi has a temperature of 218 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. The pigtail is an ingenious device. The siphon or pigtail is a quarter inch pipe that's available in either straight or angled configurations. When the boiler starts, steam enters the pipe and travels to the pressure gauge or control. The steam condenses due to the cooler ambient temperature in the boiler room, 70 degrees versus 218 degrees. The condensate is trapped inside the pigtail and forms a water seal. The water seal protects the pressure control diaphragm from the effects of steam exposure. As the steam pressure increases, the steam pressure pushes the water against the diaphragm, shutting off the boiler when the pressure meets the set point. I don't recommend insulating the pigtails as you need the cooler boiler room air to reduce the water temperature inside the pigtail. The older pigtails use black iron, but most states require a non-ferrous or brass pigtail now. Without a pigtail, the controls will last only a year or two. A drawback to the pigtail is they have a nasty habit of plugging. If it does, the pressure control or gauge will not read the proper steam pressure in the boiler. This could cause a runaway boiler. That's never a good thing. The brass ones don't clog as quickly as black iron, but they still clog. If the siphon plugs, it's almost impossible to clear it. I have tried straightened clothes hangers, hot water, Dawn dish soap, high pressure air, all without much success. It's much easier and less expensive to just replace the pigtail than to take the time to clean it, so I keep spares in my truck. A commercial boiler will have two or more pressure controls, typically operating control, limit, and firing rate controls. When choosing the location for the boiler pressure controls, I like having the controls on different boiler connection points. If the pressure controls are on one connection point, the pipe could plug and render all the controls ineffective. In the same vein of thought, each pressure control should be on its own pigtail. Both controls are fed by one pigtail. It could plug and again the boiler could run wild. The pigtails should be checked yearly to see if they were plugged. I like using a union on top of the pigtail so the pigtail can be removed without unwiring the pressure controls. The piping feeding the pigtails should be opened and cleaned yearly. Look for blockage where it connects to the boiler. Lastly, if you have a pressure control with a mercury switch inside, you want the loop on the pigtail to go from front to back. You don't want it to go from side to side as it could change the pressure set points on the control. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I've written 13 boiler books, and they're available on Amazon. My articles are included in these industry publications.